टेंस है फ्यूचर टेंस टेंस कितने हैं तीन काल हम हिंदी में बोलते हैं काल क्या है पास्ट टेंस प्रेजेंट टेंस और फ्यूचर टेंस टेंस तीन टाइप के पास्ट टेंस क्या है जो काम हो गया जिस काम हमने कर दिया गया पहले हो गया और प्रेजेंट टेंस मतलब वर्तमान अभी जो काम हो रहा है उसको बोलते हैं प्रेजेंट टेंस और फ्यूचर टेंस मतलब जो काम होने वाला है इसको अब डिजिटल में थोड़ा एक्स्ट्रा समझाए उसके बाद मैं लिख के करा ओके Unit name tenses. Hey, the circus is in town. I like watching the circus. The clowns jump up and down. The elephants balance themselves on big balls. Ballet dancers give beautiful performances. I go to the circus very often. Bingo. Did you say you will come with me to the circus? That's great. We see a lot of action in a circus. Rainbow, did you hear the words give, jump, balance, watch and go? Show action. They are doing words. Doing words are verbs. Verbs showing action that are being done are the simple present tense verbs showing actions which have already been done or completed in the past are the simple past tense when we add ed to some verbs in the simple present tense we form the simple past tense Here are some verbs in the simple present tense. Let's add ed and change the verbs to the past tense. The first verb is enjoy. We add ed. So enjoy plus ed is equal to enjoy. The past tense is enjoy. of the verb enjoy next verb is jump we add ed jump plus ed is equal to jumped jump jumped balance we add ed balance plus ed is equal to balanced 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 danced we add ed danced plus ed is equal to danced 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 rainbow you look so excited come let us do an activity Here is a list of some verbs. They are in the simple present tense. Let us add ed and rewrite the verbs in the past tense. Play, ask, smile, cross, bark. Play, play, ask, ask, smile. Smile, cross, cross, bark, bark. Good, that was well done. We have seen how verbs change to the past tense by adding ed. But there are some verbs that change to past tense without adding ed. Let us look at these verbs. The past tense of go is went. The past tense of see is saw. The past tense of say is tell. The past tense of tell is told. The past tense of do is did. The past tense of come is came the past tense of
drink is drank. The past tense of catch is caught. The past tense of break is broke. Wow, that was so interesting. Let us do another activity. Here are some sentences. Choose the verbs of the simple present tense from the box to fill in the blanks. Bakes, rises, do, works, shines, lives. The stars dash brightly at night. The stars shine brightly at night. My mother dash delicious cakes. My mother bakes delicious cakes. I dash my homework every day. I do my homework every day. My cousins dash in America. My cousins live in America. The sun dash in the east. The sun rises in the east. That was great, Rainbow. Now you know the difference between simple past tense and simple present tense. Verbs and adding ing. Rainbow, look what I've got you. A magic box. Let us open it on the count of three. One, two, three. Jumping, skipping, crawling, climbing. My goodness, what is happening? Yes, Rainbow, these are action words. Jumping, skipping, crawling, Climbing, doing their actions. Jumping, skipping, crawling and climbing are action words called verbs. Very good. You do remember. Here are some sentences. Let us underline the verbs in red. Arun fell down. What happened to Arun? Yes, he fell. Fell is the verb. Let us underline it. Arun fell down. The bus stops at my door. 
The bus stops at my door. The boy laughed at the clouds. The boy laughed at the clouds. I wash my face every day. I wash my face every day. That was easy. Here are some more sentences with lines. Now let us select the correct verb from the word box and complete these sentences. Sit, swim, watch, draw. Did you dash these pictures? Did you draw these pictures? I dash the cricket match on TV. I watch the cricket match on TV. They dash every day after school. They swim every day after school. We dash on benches in the class. We sit on benches in the class. Excellent! You do know your verbs. Now Rainbow, let us see what happens if we add ing to a verb. Seema reads a book. Seema is reading a book. By adding ing, we can change the form of a verb from the simple present to the present continuous tense. The present continuous tense is written with am, is or are before the verb plus ing. Grow, growing. Stay, staying. Plants grow with the help of sunlight. Plants are growing with the help of sunlight. I will stay here tonight. I am staying here tonight. Sometimes you have to double the last letter of the verb and then add ing. Example, run, running. Here are some sentences with blanks. Let us complete them by adding ing to the verb in the brackets. The cat is dash on the mat. By adding ing to sleep, we get sleeping. So, the cat is sleeping on the mat. Good! Goldfish are dash in the pond. Swim, swimming. Goldfish are swimming in the pond. His brother is dash him. Teach, teaching. His brother is teaching him. The students are dash smartly in the parade. March, marching. The students are marching smartly in the parade. Very good. Here are some more sentences with lines. Now let us look at the pictures and complete the sentences with verbs in the present continuous tense. The artist is dash. What is the artist doing? Right, he's painting. The artist is painting. This girl is dash. This girl is, yes, skipping. The man is dash a mountain. The man is climbing a mountain. These boys are dash cricket. These boys are playing cricket. That was easy. Now let's have some fun.
Look at these word arts. Join the word arts to get verbs. The first one. Good. Now add ing to these words. Rainbow, you were great. You now know not only about words of the simple present tense, but also how to form verbs of the present continuous tense just by adding I and G. So easy, isn't it? Topic name, noun gender. Isn't this a castle rainbow? I wonder who lives in it. Oh, of course, a king and queen. Here they are at the table. They have guests, the duke and duchess. Look at their children. A little prince and princess playing with a ball in the garden. They are looked after by a man servant and maid servant. Rainbow, I'm sure you remember your genders. In this happy family, the nouns of the masculine gender are king, duke, prince and man servant. The nouns of the female gender are Queen, Duchess, Princess, and Maidservant. Now, Rainbow, did you know that there are two more noun genders? Yes, the common gender and the neuter gender. Let us find out the difference between the two. A noun that names any person or animal that is either male or female is of the common gender. A guest can be male or female. It is a common gender. Similarly, a child, a teacher or a doctor. A noun that names any non-living thing is of the neuter gender. They are neither male nor female. Castle, ball, garden, table are neuter gender. Let us now do an activity. Here are some animals. We have to match the masculine gender with the feminine gender. Shall we begin? First, the tiger. Tiger, tigress. Next, lion. Lioness, horse, man, gander, goose, fox, vixen, he goat, she goat, drake, duck, peacock, peahen, bull, cow. Let us do another activity. In this activity, we will change the gender of the underlined words. My 
uncle said goodbye to my niece at the station. My aunt said goodbye to my nephew at the station. The emperor invited the master of the house to tea. The empress invited the mistress of the house to tea. The landlord chose a bride from the village. The landlady chose a bridegroom from the village. The wizard turned the poet into a rabbit. The witch turned the poetess into a rabbit. The waiter said, Sir, I hope the meal was tasty. The waitress said, Madam, I hope the meal was tasty. Finally, here are some common and new gender nouns. Let us put them into the correct groups. Rainbow, never forget that the four noun genders are Rainbow, never forget that the four noun genders are masculine, feminine, common and intergender. Topic name, nouns. Rainbow, wow, a storybook. Can I read it with you? The first story is Rex and the Grapes. A fox named Rex lived in Africa. One Tuesday morning, he went for a walk through the field to the river. He came to a vineyard. He opened the gate and went in. He saw a lovely bunch of grapes. He made sure that there were no hunters around. He jumped and jumped but could not reach them. He walked away saying they were sour. Rainbow, let us now try to find the nouns in this story. We will begin with proper nouns. A proper noun is the special name of a person, place, animal or thing. So Rex, Africa and Tuesday are all proper nouns. A common noun is the common name for any person, place, animal or thing. So, fox, field, river, vineyard, gate, grapes and hunter are all common nouns. Rainbow, what type of a noun do you think bunch is? It is a collective noun. It refers to a collection of persons, animals or things taken together as one unit or a group. A bunch of grapes is a collective noun. Bunch stands for a collection of grapes. Now let's do an activity together. Match the collective nouns given in the help box with the picture. Let us begin. A dash of stick. A bundle of stick. A dash of people. A crowd of people. 
a dash of wolves a pack of wolves a dash of books a pile of books a dash of flowers a bouquet of flowers a dash of lions a pride of lions a dash of birds a flight of birds and dash of soldiers an army of soldiers a dash of puppies a litter of puppies very good rainbow can i tell you another story this one's called the thirsty crow one hot day a thirsty crow flew about in search of some water she finally found a jar but could not reach the water inside she picked up one stone at a time one two three four and dropped them into the water hello students ye sab story hai suradi aap sabko samajh mein aaye pehle kon sa dikhaya gap sir sir gap kya kar rahe the box baar baar khinch ke lekin uske andar se kya dikhaya ki naam kaun sa hai hai proper naam aur common naam ओके okay? और ये आपको इसमें ही दिखाएंगे स्टोरी में हम नेक्स्ट देखेंगे आज यहाँ तक ओके बाय